ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா வெல்கம் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஸ்கியூஸ் இன் ஐ எம் புவன் சுந்தரி ரதா தேவிதாசி வித் ராதா அஷ்டமி ஸ்பெஷல் ரெசிபி டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் அனதர் ராதா அஷ்டமி ஸ்பெஷல் போகா ஆஃபரிங் வி நோ தட் ராதா ராணி இஸ் வெரி ஃபாண்ட் ஆஃப் அர்பிஸ் வி ஹேவ் சீன் வெரைட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் சமோசா ஆல்சோ ஆஸ் சூம் ஆஸ் வி சர்ச் ஃபார் ஸ்நாக்ஸ் சமோசா இஸ் அ வெரி ஃபேமஸ் ஒன் So to celebrate this joyous day of appearance of Srimati Radhika today we are going to prepare arbi samosa this is as usual a quick and super easy snacks best for distributing to with fresh and flavorful ingredients today we will prepare this samosa with all the tips and tricks so let's begin first take 500 g of arbi or colocasia or taro root Wash it well and transfer them into a cooker. Now add 2 cups of water. Cover the lid and cook it for 2 whistles on low flame. The cooker has cooled and arbi has boiled well. Take them out and peel it. After 10 minutes mash it roughly with your hand. Do not mash it too much. This is done. Now let's prepare the stuffing. Heat 2 tablespoon of oil in a pan. Add 1 chopped green chili. and 1 teaspoon of grated ginger add 1 tablespoon coarsely ground coriander seed and 1 tablespoon coarsely ground fennel seed saute all this on low flame Next add 2 tablespoon of gram flour or besan. Roast it for a minute on low flame. The stuffing does not remain too sticky after adding the gram flour or besan and it also gives a good bind. This is done. Now add the mashed arbi. mix it roughly i have listed down all the ingredients with their measurements in the description box below you can refer it let's flavor it add salt to taste add 1 teaspoon roasted cumin powder 1 tablespoon of red chili powder add 1 teaspoon of garam masala 2 tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves squeeze half a lemon instead of lemon you can use dry mango powder also combine all this well on low flame We have shared many Radha Ashtami special recipes and you can find all in Radha Ashtami special recipes playlist which link has been shared in the description box below. With this our stuffing is ready. Turn off the flame and cool it completely. Meanwhile let's prepare the dough. take 2 cups of all purpose flour or maida in a mixing bowl add salt to taste take 1 teaspoon of garam seed or ajwain crush it in between your palm and add it add 3 tablespoon of oil mix all this well hare 
you can see here the dough is getting a good bind. Next add water part by part and knead a medium hard dough. Add some more water and knead the dough. Here I have used half a cup of water. Our dough is ready. Cover the lid and keep it aside for 15 minutes. It has been 15 minutes. Knead it again. Now you can see the smoothness and texture of the dough. Make medium sized balls. We can make 16 samosas from this dough. Now take a dough ball and roll it into an oval shaped puri. Do not roll it too thin. You can see its thickness. Cut it into two parts. Take one of them and roll it lightly. Apply some water on the edge. Place the edge on another side. Stick it thoroughly. You will get a cone shape. Stuff it with the stuffing. Do not stuff a lot. Now apply the water on the edge. Now take a flit on the back side and press it well again. You can see how easily we can make the samosa shape. Similarly take another half and roll it again as it has shrunk. Apply some water. And stick it well. Place the stuffing in the cone shape. Apply some water. Take a flit on the back side. Press it well. Similarly, make all the samosa. Here I have heated some oil for frying the samosa. Now add it. Here you can see the oil is very warm. Make sure that the oil is not hot at all while frying the samosas. This is a very important tip. If the oil is too hot or you are frying on higher flame, then bubbles will appear on the samosa. It will take 12 to 15 minutes for frying one batch. After 10 minutes, you can see the color is gradually changing, but we need to fry them more till we get the golden brown color. 
If you follow these tricks and tips, then the samosas remain crispy for longer. Our samosas are ready. Take it out in a plate and similarly fry all of them. Our arbi samosas are ready. You can serve them with tamarind chutney or tomato ketchup and both the recipes we have shared before. Let's place a tulsi leaf and offer it to Shri Shri Radha Madhav. The tongue should be engaged in the service of the Lord by constantly chanting the Hare Krishna mantra and by eating food which is first offered to Krishna. If you like Boga recipes, please like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any Boga recipe. Always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare and be happy.